what type of holes acts between the two plates of a parallel plate capacitor. In the diagram we have a parallel plate capacitor, parallel plate capacitor. To this plate there is positive charge plus Q is the, is the positive charge and uh, on this plate there will be negative charge that means minus Q charge uh, is the charge of the other plate. There is vacuum as dielectric medium between the two plates. This is the dielectric medium and that is, uh, that is vacuum which has permittivity epsilon 0, which has permittivity epsilon 0. C is the capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor and U is the energy stored by this capacitor. The energy stored in the dielectric medium that is in vacuum between the two plates between the two plates of the parallel plate capacitor of the parallel plate capacitor is given by capital U equal Q square by 2C capital U equal Q square by 2C which is equation 1 now x is the distance between the two parallel plates that means x is the separation between the two parallel plates now the capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor is given by c equal epsilon 0 a divided by x where a is the area of cross section of each plate and here x is the distance, x is the distance between the two parallel plates. C equal epsilon 0 a divided by x which is equation 2, which is equation 2. Now using equation 2 in equation 1, using equation 2 in equation 1 we get u equal q square divided by 2c equal q square divided by e. 2 into epsilon 0 a divided by x therefore u equal q square by 2 epsilon a into x u equal q square by 2 epsilon a bracket close into x which is the energy that is the potential energy potential energy stored in the dielectric medium stored in the dielectric medium that is in vacuum between the two plates between the two plates of this parallel plate capacitor of this parallel plate capacitor now we can denote uh, let f be the force f be the force acting acting between the two plates f be the force acting between the two plates acting between the two plates of the capacitor in the diagram F is the force which is acting between the positive plate and negative plate of this capacitor of this capacitor therefore this force F equal to minus du by dx equal minus ddx under bracket q square by 2 epsilon 0 into x now we can bring q square by 2 epsilon 0 a outside ddx is equal minus q square by 2 epsilon 0 a ddx of x equal minus q square by minus q square divided by 2 epsilon 0 a therefore we get f as equal minus q square divided by 2 epsilon 0 a which is the force which is the force acting between the two plates of this parallel plate capacitor f is equal to minus q square divided by 2 epsilon 0 a therefore f equal minus q square by 2 epsilon 0 this is the force acting between the two plates force acting between the two plates of this parallel plate capacitor negative sign indicates that negative sign indicates that this force this force is attractive 
in nature negative sign indicates that this force is attractive in nature the force is attractive f is the force which is uh, attractive f is uh, uh, one type of attractive force hence the two plates of the capacitor two plates of the capacitor will attract each other will attract each other due to this force due to this negative force as the force is negative that's why you can say that uh, here the two plates of the parallel plate capacitor will attract each other due to this negative force due to this negative force in the diagram f is the force due to which two plates will be moving towards each other because this force is attractive force